Let's simplify the fraction 3 16th. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find another fraction that's equal, is equivalent to 3 16th, but is in lowest terms. One way to do that is we can look at the multiples for 3 and then 16. So for 3, really it's only 1 times 3. That's the only multiples we can get for 3 here. For 16, we could have 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 3 doesn't go evenly into 16, but 4 times 4, that gives us 16. That's pretty much it. So what we want to find is a common multiple for 3 and 16. But really, the only thing that's in common is 1. So because of that, 3 sixteenths, we can't simplify this any further. It's in its simplest form. It has the lowest terms here. So when we try to simplify the fraction 3 sixteenths, we end up with 3 sixteenths. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.